The potentiometer is a device that you can use to make fine adjustments to the potential difference or voltage of a supply. The principle upon which it's based is the same as a potential divider. If you haven't come across a potential divider before, there is a link to a suitable video lesson in the notes below. Typically it looks like this, with a twist control in the centre. To explain how it works, we'll start with this simple circuit you can see. That is, a power supply, just two cells, an ammeter, and a resistance, all in series. The ammeter is really only there to show that there's a current flowing. Don't worry about what the reading is. The resistance is in fact just a piece of pencil lead, that is, wax and graphite mix. Much the same as in the potentiometer I showed at the beginning. I've added to this circuit a voltmeter, connected to one end of the resistor, and then with a moving sliding contact at the other end. And you can see as I move the slide along the pencil lead and back again, the voltage changes. It can be adjusted at any value from zero up to the maximum supplied by the dry cells. Now suppose we took that piece of graphite and wax, the pencil lead, and gradually bent it into a horseshoe shape like this. That would make it a great deal less vulnerable and much more compact. If we needed a sliding contact then we could put it in the centre and gradually move it around the shape like this. If we then take that piece of graphite and put it with its sliding contact in a circuit as you can see here as we slide the contact around, the potential difference, or voltage, changes. As before, we can produce a range of potential differences or voltages up to the maximum of the supply. And if we have some device that requires us to change the potential difference, or voltage, a little, then if that is in the circuit as shown in the diagram, that's quite easy to do. And going back to a real potentiometer, that is exactly how it works. Inside there is a horseshoe shape of graphite and there is a sliding contact that goes backwards and forwards around it. The standard circuit diagram is like this. And when we put it into the circuit as we had before, with ammeter and voltmeter, you can see that we can change the potential difference or voltage from a high level up to the maximum of the supply down to zero in tiny increments. We can adjust it to any value within that range. I hope that's been useful. Thank you for watching. <laughs>